Launching today on console, at least on the PlayStation and Xbox, it is targeted for today on the Nintendo Switch, but due to a delay in time zone differences, uh, Nintendo making approvals and other things, it may be a tiny bit late. The operation will launch just after the update, it will launch at 3.20pm ET, the update itself went live at 3 p.m. ET. It's actually about an hour from when I'm actually recording this, but they only announced it 10 minutes ago, so have to start this now. Also, the two-week double affinity bonus um, has been extended by another week. Because of the delay and to thank console players for their patience waiting for the whole update 29.6.5, that brings Orphix Venom to console with Lavos and Decido. They have extended it to three weeks, which means Double Affinity live on consoles from now until February 11th. You lucky, lucky... Since they changed the derelict over to look like this, and then changed it over to Deimos, I haven't touched it on any console. So this time we get to answer a few questions like, will you be able to access the Cambion Drift and see farther? For this event, if you don't have access to the Cambian Drift. Oh, and look at him. Lavos is here on console, finally. It will be a bit blurry. That's because I'm recording this kind of through the capture stuff rather than trying to sync the two, at least for this part. What's new? Where is... Here it is. All of everything. What you will need to do. During the operation, you're basically going to have the sentient things spawning. You would think that's something that I would remember the name of. The Orphix. It's literally called Orphix Venoms. And you basically have to take them out, but you have to do it using Necromex. Not your Warframe. There will be a bubble around it that you can't go through with your Warframe. You will basically just be thrown into your operator and not be able to actually do anything. You will just have to go in there using a Necromech. If you don't have a Necromech, you can still do this because there are Necromechs absolutely everywhere laying on the floor. So you don't need to have one built to be able to do this, which is great. It's one of the best things that they could have done. Have them all over the place because if they were just kind of spawning or you needed one to do it it would limit everybody's ability to actually do the event so having necromech spawn that you just need your operator for is great and this event is actually a lot of fun i don't care what anybody else says i absolutely enjoyed this event it does actually a pretty good job at describing what you need to do uh, Orphix Venom, blah blah, lots of video plays. I'm going to try and avoid that from actually playing. But, as you can see, the event was not running when this update actually happened. But, Lavos is finally on console. Uh, why are you all the way over there? As is his Leverian that has a story about it, but you do have to actually own the frame first and get to level 30 apparently before he will appear. And his abilities are or great. The first ability, those snakes, I'll be honest, I don't use them that often. It's that that I like. You can kind of mix elemental combos with Lavos and then use that said element on any of his abilities, whichever one you decide to cast, by just holding down the ability to, instead of casting it to equip one element and then swapping to another ability and then holding that one in to equip that instead but his second ability charging forward being inert ice damage is also really great because it kind of freezes enemies but it throws the elemental stuff absolutely everywhere and it's great crowd control the transmutation probe the fact that this transmutes ammo into all ammo health and energy orbs into health and energy orbs so instead of it just being a health orb it'll be a health and energy instead of being energy it'll be health and energy or well you get what i'm saying here and a health orb becomes health and energy and energy orb becomes health and energy it becomes universal which makes him great for things like well everything 
and the fourth ability shooting it out in a radial I won't lie I am absolutely loving Lavos his abilities are great for playing with other people just he's a bit awkward with that whole mixing the elements especially on console much easier on PC but on console there is going to be a slight bit of a learning curve to get that mixed elemental combo in there but he's on console he's on console finally as is the Cedo that will basically throw out a disc that detonates on impact it also bounces back and you can't fire it again until it actually comes back but this is a shotgun that turns out to be really good it has a really nice crit chance a really really poor status at 0 0.3 but it's the alternate fire of this that is absolutely amazing. Find a decent ribbon for this and it's great. And of course the parts for it do drop from the event. And they drop while doing the event. Not to forget of course this update is also live. Okay, what? Uh, so I can log in but I can't update games. I am on the internet. I've literally logged in. What in the actual... Oh, I didn't connect the network cable. Well, that's embarrassing. Let's pretend that didn't happen, shall we? And now, check for updates. Not to mention the fact that this has also gone live on the Switch and on PlayStation. The event has actually launched over on console, which means I can now, in theory, I may have to uh, re-log for this to work be able to go to Deimos and see. Nope, cannot gain access to it. But as I say, we'll have to relaunch this, or refresh this, see if it actually works or not. Leave Dojo because I know people will be asking me about this. Because I mentioned it earlier. I don't think it will allow you to access this simply because uh, I may have to play this first. This was basically a video that will introduce you to the whole operation and the fact that your Warframe will become useless. Though it is really nice to see Frost there. It's weird, the orange and the red kind of go well together. Oh yes. Even though Father has invited you to go to the Necrolisk to visit him, it doesn't appear. So you will have to do the missions beforehand to unlock it because it's part of the whole free roam. The Cambian Drift is the free roam. The Necrolisk is actually the place you want to go to. But I do have this unlocked somewhere, I think. Obviously, if you come and see Father and look at the rewards from Operation Orphix Venom, you will be able to see that the Orc guns are in here. All of them. Well... Yeah, the skin. <laughs> Love that one. The helmet is in here. That is the new helmet that goes with the new skin for the Necromech. Does actually look really good, but the Cedo parts are in here. As I mentioned before, the Cedo and Lavos drop from actually playing the event itself. You can exchange your, what is it they're called, Fasic cells for these, or you can just play the event because you have a high chance of dropping them. More so if you do is it 36 or 38 Orphix in one run that counts as a max run. Of course the Basmu returned for this as did, did the melee weapon that I can never remember the name of, the Seti Lacera and a ton of Orcanes. Pretty much all of them. Everything from Operation... Wow. Scarlet Spear. That was so long ago, wasn't it? Is here. There are three different parts to this. Obviously, the endurance one is what you want to get to as soon as possible. You only have to hit certain levels to actually unlock these, but it's worth it. This is a really, really good operation. I would also say watch out for this enemy because they're kind of opening portals that allow all of these sentient enemies to come through. Concentrate on the big guy in the background and the things it spawns and you'll be fine this event will not last long at all think at, at most the longest I think yeah about 56 minutes to do all of the Orphix Venom stuff and that I mean one mission <laughs> the quickest way ever did it was 
I really don't know because I did, I did not time it. I just know the first time we did all of them, it was 56 minutes. And that was the longest run we actually did. The rest of them went much quicker than that. There is a bunch of other stuff, new mods for the Necromech that you get from there, including shield recharge rate. More importantly, was the enemy radar. That actually comes in very useful when you use your Necromech and the skin for the Necromech. The, that still looks amazing. I keep seeing this and thinking, ooh, an electric shooting gun. It's not. It's the flamethrower, which for the record, I did use the Cortege a lot for the beginning part of <laughs> the Operation Orphix Venom that will run until February the 22nd on console and is live now across all platforms. Unless, sadly, you play on PlayStation 5, which is why well, <laughs> Nintendo has no footage because, well, the base isn't plugged in to charge the damn thing. Uh, there's no PlayStation footage because I deleted the PlayStation 4 version and the PlayStation 5 version. The best way I can put this is an hour. The event isn't an hour old yet. It's about 40 minutes old. But the PlayStation 5 version of this is missing for an hour. This update has been missing for PlayStation 5. Hopefully Digital Extreme will actually say what is going on with the PlayStation 5 version of this soon, but it is supposed to be live everywhere on all consoles now. Though PlayStation 5 is a little bit too big. As for the Xbox Series X version of the game, yeah, I wish I knew too. But I think we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.